Chocolate Ray. I'm the burping up the field of pain. Chocolate Ray. Hey, just for men. I call it just for Ashley. <laughs> You're 16 years old, get your own snack. Whatever, what the young people are doing now? Hey, welcome to the EXO Marriage YouTube channel where you get real marriage advice from real people. We are Dave and Ashley Willis, host of the Naked Marriage Podcast, and you're watching Fridays with Dave and Ashley where we try to create a quick video just to help you thrive in your marriage. A lot of our topics lately have been about sex. Because that's what you guys want to hear about. And it's you all she ever wants people. to talk about. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I'm, she's, I'm kidding. <laughs> she's the naughtiest of all. <laughs> it's really not naughty. It's, it's a big part of marriage. It's awesome. So, yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, I'm it glad. Is. I'm glad you guys want to watch stuff about that. I would be the same way. Like, I wish we had had this earlier in our marriage. Like, YouTube was not really much of a thing. We were watching Chocolate Rain. Oh, man. Marriage. Old school Chocolate, Chocolate Rain. Rain. Chocolate Rain. <laughs> I haven't heard that reference in a while. Dun, dun, dun. That's, that it. ages us. That look tells... it up. You young people, look up Chocolate Rain. It'll change your life. But we would have much rather been watching marriage videos about sex and about raising kids and about having a strong marriage through it. So I really commend you guys. And so we are going to talk about specifically how to have a thriving sex life while also raising young children. You're changing diapers. You're making bottles. You're nursing. You're, you know, feeding kids who want to spit the food back on you. And just frankly, it's not a sexy, sexy time. time. It's like you don't want to have sex right. for a while. And then that little human being tries to make sure you never have sex again right. because they always know when they know you're the time trying when, you're, when trying. you're trying you're trying to create a moment that that's when they're like mom dad i need a snack i have to yell at them some days like you're 16 years old get your own snack you know we've got that but then we also have the little ones where they really do need something you got to just navigate that and so give yourselves permission to just teach your kids that they don't have 24 7 all access to you as they get older you got to start training them you know what you've got to self-regulate a little bit Watch Blue's Clues for a second, and mom and dad are going to have some time. Are and they that's watching important. Blue's Clues still? I don't know. That we're we are aging ourselves. Whatever. What the young people are doing now? We sound so Ellen. old I, right what now. Is, uh, what happened to us? We were so hip and with it. We were it hip and with it once. Once, many years ago. Oh, you still man. look young and cool. No, you, you are looking younger than ever. In fact, one of our YouTubers commented and said that. Well, <laughs> tell you the secret. Just for men. <laughs> I call it just for Ashley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where were we? All right. How do you practically make time for sex when you have young kids? I know for us, we made sure that we tried to get our kids on a schedule. And I know this seems like an elusive unicorn just sprouting and and it being like or, or the the alignment of the sun and the moon or whatever like it seems like something that is just pie in the sky it is not it is hard but it's possible and so i know for us being able to have like a consistent nap time for our kids was a time oh, yeah. that we could yeah. let down spend time together and then hopefully have some romantic time together and it creates a rhythm that they get used to so you need to yeah. create a rhythm that is sustainable and don't let the kids create the rhythm you create the rhythm you right. create the schedule and make the kids adjust and yeah, of course, we're gonna our lives are gonna adjust in many ways to our kids. But you're still the parent. We had to remind ourselves of this. It's like we're we the had, ones who yeah. set bedtime. We're the ones who set when quiet time is, or nap time, or break time, and where mom and dad are gonna have our time. And the kids aren't, aren't always gonna like it, and that's okay. One of the best gifts you can give your children is modeling a healthy marriage. Yeah. What is it? A healthy marriage. Ah! And the more you love each other, the more capacity and energy you're going to have to be good parents. It's not selfish to want to connect with your spouse. It's important. Absolutely. It's not selfish to want to connect with your spouse. It's important. Absolutely. If you look up, you can look up articles about this. They ask married couples, you know, what is your least favorite season of being married? The least favorite is usually those young years of raising kids, yeah. like the, the toddler years, um, maybe early elementary, baby years. It's, there's some precious moments there, but it's hard on a marriage. Right. And, I, and I'm not surprised surprised by that at all. I think it's really hard. It's hard to find time. You have a lot of people, one child or more vying for your attention. And um, plus parenting's hard. You have to get on the same page and it's 
it's just a lot going on. So definitely make time for sex, you know, make time for your spouse and make sure you're engaging together. And even I would say this, give your kids a language for this. Like I know for us, it's looked a little different through the years, but I think it's okay to say we're having mom, dad time. Like that's, that's kind of what they call it. And right now we've been through a long season of Mondays being when we go out on a date, we have time together and they know that Mondays are for mom and dad. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, you're energized. Most people dread Mondays. We look forward to every Monday. Like it's a great rhythm for us. I think giving it a language and saying, you know, we don't like being away from you, but we need to invest in our marriage. And this is mom, dad time, or this is whatever you want to call it. And I think it just gives the kids comfort to know that their parents love each other and they're spending time together and we will come back. You know, it's like we're, we're, we're going away to the room or to the date or whatever you're doing, but we will come back and we're going to spend time with you. Find that balance, make that a priority. And uh, again, we've got a lot of resources at X marriage.com and episodes on the Naked Marriage podcast. Keep having fun. Keep pursuing each other. Keep enjoying that mom-dad time. That's right. (laughs) Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. 